Thanks for joining us. In this audit, we looked at whether the Ministry of Environment and the Ministry of Forests, Lands, and Natural Resource Operations were meeting their objective of effectively managing grizzly bear populations throughout British Columbia. We found that the ministries did not meet many of our expectations. British Columbia is one of the last areas in North America where grizzly bears live in their natural habitat. The health of grizzly bear populations is an indicator of how well the ecosystem and the species that live there are doing. In other words, if grizzly bears aren't faring well, it's a sign that the ecosystem as a whole is facing challenges. While grizzly bear populations are increasing in some areas, this is likely happening independent of an adequate management framework. There is no grizzly bear management plan, and many of the ministry's long-standing commitments have gone unfulfilled. The underlying cause for why the implementation of a grizzly bear program is not working is an unclear organizational structure and unclear accountabilities between the Ministry of Environment and the Ministry of Forests, Lands, and Natural Resource Operations. Out of the 56 grizzly bear populations, nine are threatened. The government's primary objective for these is to recover them to sustainable levels. However, government has only created one plan for one population, but it has never been implemented. The Conservation Officer Service, COS, within the Ministry of Environment, responds to calls related to human bear conflict and works to reduce illegal activities, such as poaching or failing to report a bear killed due to conflict. However, the number of incidents attended by the COS are on the rise, and the COS has not evaluated whether it has sufficient resources or tools to meet this growing demand. Also increasing is the number of grizzly bear viewing operations, Bear viewing provides economic opportunities in BC, but can have negative impacts on grizzly bears. It is currently not regulated. Over the years, the Ministry of Forests, Lands, and Natural Resource Operations has made advances in its hunting policy and procedures. However, reviews of grizzly bear hunting by external experts in 2003 and 2016 indicated that government can still make improvements. The greatest risk to the grizzly bear population in BC isn't from hunting. Rather, it is from the degradation of the grizzly bear's habitats from human activities. For instance, the increasing length of resource roads in the province have allowed greater human access to grizzly bear habitats that can result in unregulated hunting activity and a growing number of human and grizzly bear conflicts. The ministries have undertaken activities to reduce grizzly bear habitat degradation and provided secure habitats, but they have not evaluated whether their efforts are effective. We made 10 recommendations in this report, including clarifying the roles and responsibilities of the two ministries, creating a management plan for grizzly bears that is based on adequate inventory and monitoring, improving hunting policies, regulating bear viewing, and ensuring the Conservation Officer Service has adequate tools and resources, and evaluating activities that mitigate threats and protect grizzly bear habitats to ensure that they are effective. That's our summary for today. Thanks for joining us, and to read this report and others, or for more information about our office, please visit our website at www.bcauditor.com.